The date is October 9, 2010. On this day, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic made its big debut on the Hub Network, and it has been enjoyed by millions across the globe. That is partially due to the hard work of the dedicated staff members who spent countless hours in board meetings, behind computers, animating, and in recording booths trying to make the best show that they could about magical talking ponies. Sorta. Back then, some of us never knew about the development process of what it took to make this type of cartoon show. Over the years, we started uncovering more and more about the show's development history thanks to the leaks. In 2017, we discovered My Little Pony Adventures, which was the show's bible in the original name for Friendship is Magic that set the ground rules for what Lauren Faust wanted her show to be. We the fans often discussed about the possibilities of there being a long lost show pilot. Most assumed it was the first episode of the series, while others thought it was lost forever, locked away somewhere in Hasbro's possession. However, one brave soul was able to sneak in undetected and leak everything, and on October 9, 2019, exactly nine years after the show premiered, we got another breach. Coincidence? I think not. That brave, anonymous soul posted more unclassified assets of Friendship is Magic, including audio files, flash files of episodes, and a whole bunch more. What really caught everyone's attention was the Friendship is Magic show pilot. Thought to be lost and forgotten has finally been found. The date of this pilot marks back to 2009, around the same time the show Bible was created. It starts up with the original My Little Pony Adventures logo lining up with the timeline. The pilot is a rough animation of the Season 1 episode Feeling Pinky Keen that features Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie that are all voiced by Tara Strong. Here's a little lesson for you all. Originally, Lauren Faust wanted Tara Strong to be the voice of Pinkie Pie, but saw her as a better fit for the role of Twilight Sparkle. And after seeing this, you can definitely see why she was chosen to be Twilight as she pulls off her original annoyed personality quite well. Speaking of Twilight Sparkle, while I was searching through the Flash files, I found out that they were using Twilight's original design from the show Bible, which is pretty neat, and it's good to know it didn't go completely to waste. It's amazing that this piece of pony history is no longer lost. The full thing is a little bit over a minute long, which I will leave a link in the description so you can all check it out, as this is an untouched version of My Little Pony. That's all for now, my little bronies. I'm Tootsie Forever, and thank you for watching.